Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. My guest today is Rahul Pathak. Rahul, welcome to the AWS Report. Thanks, Jeff. Good to be here. So what do you do for the AWS team? I'm a senior product manager with database services, and um, we work. We deliver the relational database service, RDS, which gives you a fully managed database in the cloud. Okay, so I know you have an announcement for us today. What can you tell us? We're announcing support for provisioned IOPS volumes, and so RDS customers will be able to use RDS in conjunction with provisioned IOPS to get higher performance database options with consistent IO and throughput performance. All right, so when I create my DB instance, I can specify the desired level of IOPS. Uh, that's correct. You'll be able to specify your desired level of IOPS, and it's available for all of our database engines. And you can get up to 10,000 IOPS, uh, depending on your workload on the database engine. 10,000 per DB instance? Per DB instance. That's, that's pretty correct. impressive. Uh, we're, our hope is that it'll add uh, the opportunity for a lot more customers to bring more of their workloads uh, onto RDS. Okay. Great. So are there any interesting kind of use cases you might be able to tell us about that people are using RDS for right now? So RDS delivers a fully managed database experience. And so we are looking. We have customers worldwide that use us for production mission critical DB workloads. And with provisioned IOPS, we hope to expand the set of workloads which are appropriate um, for bringing them on to RDS. So you give our users a lot more control of the level of performance that they get. Yes, so when they create a DB instance, they'll be able to specify their IOPS up to a maximum of 10,000. And then they'll be able to use that um, worldwide. Okay, am I able to change that over time or is that something I need to fix and decide on at startup time? So initially, you'll, that'll be fixed and decided upon at startup time in terms of the minimum increment. Uh, you will be able to scale up your IOPS up to the maximum However, your ultimate endpoints determined by your initial configurations. So there are some subtleties in there, but you can scale. Excellent. Okay, this sounds like a wonderful benefit for our customers, and I'm sure they're going to jump on this right away and, and start using it. So thanks for coming by, and, and thanks for telling us about this. Thanks for having me, Jeff. All right. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these new AWS features. This is Jeff Barr, and this has been the AWS Report.